The first thing that we can do is name it to tame it, as Dan Siegel would say. And that is labeling our experience and our emotions. Think about that first Harry Potter movie where they almost never say Lord Voldemort's name. And they made that choice on purpose to heighten the sense of fear that you would feel as the audience around Lord Voldemort. It was only the wise Dumbledore who said that you need to say his name to decrease his power. And the same thing is true with our emotions. The moment that we can label our emotions, we can begin to regulate them. Secondly, once we label them, we need to validate our own experiences. People have a wide range of responses to COVID-19. Some people may feel increased clarity about what's meaningful in their life. Some people may feel hope or gratitude. Other people may feel exhaustion, grief, loss, despair. And some people may even notice longer lasting things like increased substance use or things like PTSD. Whatever your experience, acknowledging your experience and saying whatever you're feeling in that moment is understandable, that's a huge first step. And then talking to ourselves as we would a friend. So we often talk to ourselves so much more harshly than we would a friend. And when you notice what you are feeling and you label it, beginning to then ask yourself, just as you would ask a friend, I wonder what might be making you feel that way. And saying, of course you feel that way. You're living in the midst of a pandemic and beginning to ask, what is it that you need in that moment? And then the final thing I would say is finding ways to memorialize our experience. You may not have the bandwidth right now to process what's happening to you, and that's okay. What you can do if you're in that situation is to begin to find little ways to capture your experience so that when you do have the ability, you can process it. And you can do that in a wide range of ways. Just be creative. So think about snapping a photo here and there to document your experience, or reaching out to a friend and talking to a friend about what's going on, or thinking about ways of just jotting down a brief note to yourself, leaving a voicemail for yourself or on a friend's answering machine, whatever feels best for you, but finding a way to label your experience, acknowledge it, validate it, and document it. And one final reminder, whatever you're feeling is understandable and okay. Things feel harder because they are harder.